guys, I'm going to be doing the Pacific Island tag today. Um, I was tagged by Riz, aka Donut Queen. I'll put her link below for her channel. Um, she is a, another Pacific Island beauty guru from Nauru. I did watch a Pacific Island video girl and <laughs> I loved it. Um, I didn't even know that you were Micronesian, but anyway, it was awesome. Um, and it was actually created by Miss Oni Love and I'll put her link down below as well. I haven't really gotten the chance to watch a lot of her videos, but um, just watching a few of them, she is she is just a really gorgeous girl. So definitely check those channels out. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to jump straight into it. The first question is, do you live in your island home? No, I don't. I actually, my island home is, well, it's not really a, my island home. It's um, called in Māori, it's called a marae. Um, that's where my family come from. That's where, like, generations and generations of my family are from and were born and raised. And, um, yeah, it's, like, it's my connection. That's my home. That's where my blood runs from. Um, and that would be it's, – it's in a really small town called Waimiha. Um, if you live in New Zealand, you probably still won't even know it. It's – near Tequiri. It's not very far from Tequiri or Bennydale, if you know where that is. Yeah, um, I, and yeah, do not live in my island home. Um, I actually live in a completely different country in Australia, but it's, okay, you know, it's the second question far. is, when was the last time you visited your island home? I actually just went back for Easter. Um, they had a family reunion back home and everybody stayed on the marae. There was like heaps of people there and a lot of family that I haven't seen in such a long time. And it was so awesome going back and just seeing everybody and being around the family again and being around, you know, just a lot of fun and happiness and um, just all the games that they had going on and um I don't know, all of the things, like the activities that they did, that they had set up for the weekend, it was just, it was awesome. Um, yeah, I love going back there. Okay, so the third question is, what is a, I can't even read, what is a stereotype about Pacific Islanders? Um, for Māori in general, I reckon, what, I reckon it would be the stereotype back in New Zealand would be that a lot of Māori steal, a lot of Māori drink, and a lot of Maldives wear gum boots. <laughs> no, I don't know. A lot of Maldives steal and drink. Um, that is definitely a stereotype back home. But like to me, I think that a lot of it is more focused on Maori and Pacific Islanders. A lot of like crime and stuff that does happen outside of Maori and Pacific Islanders, like with other cultures, it's not. It's not put on television. It's not advertised as much as it is like for our culture. I mean, there are people out there that do do that stuff, but I think they focus it a lot more on. It's a Maldi big, Pacific like Island. it's a big thing to talk about. <laughs> There's a lot of stereotypes around Maldives for that and Pacific Islanders. Sing your favorite Pacific Island song. <laughs> um, can I just play it for you? <laughs> do I? I'll, I'll, I'll sing it. Out. Okay, I don't really know the words. Oh, I can't know. But I don't really know how to sing so much. Oh, it's so awesome. I don't know. I can't remember the second thing. <laughs> Name one island dish that you enjoy. I actually just had it <laughs> like yesterday. It's um honey, it's cooked underground and um well, it's not it's not always cooked underground, but traditionally it is cooked underground um, in baskets, and the food is wrapped up. I think it's I'm not too sure what it's actually wrapped up in. I've never cooked a hangi in my life, but it's friggin' delicious. If you go back to New Zealand, if uh, New Zealand, and um, do you get the opportunity to try hangi? Um, yeah, oh, ah, it's delicious. Um, 
we actually found a spot over here that sells it and it's in Oxenford. It's called Hangi Pit. Honestly, you have to check this place out if you live in the Gold Coast. It's delicious. Like, if you're Māori and you live in the Gold Coast, I'm not Bro, sure what their it. address is, but um, if you go to their Facebook page or just jump on to Google and search them, um, it's the Hangi Pit in Oxenford. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, they're amazing. They're, like, oh, words can't even describe. Um... Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. But that's probably my favourite my favourite dish from home. Definitely that. Definitely that. Yep. Yep, definitely. <laughs> okay. A household item that resembles your culture. Hmm. I think I have a point lying around here. This is like a typical Maori carving. This is actually my partner's twenty first key. Um they carved oh, I think his his father carved this for him or not actually too too clued up about the story behind it, but um yeah, this was Dylan when he was a baby. Look how cute he was. He's such a cutie. And there's his name there, just along there in the twenty first. But this is like a typical Maori carving. Um yeah. It's just got you know, a lot of detailing in it and it's usually made by wood. Um, and yeah, this is what it is. Um, I tried looking for one of my poise, but I couldn't find them. <laughs> um, so yeah. yeah, anyway, moving on. I uh, would like, we really don't have that much Māori stuff around the house. I think we have like a couple of pieces of artwork. <laughs> I think we have like a couple of pieces of artwork. Um, just some power shells, um, a fern, um, and yeah, just, just a few small things, um, but nothing really, like, that really resembles what you would typically find in a Maori. Say family. something in your dialect. Uh, kia ora. <laughs> kia ora, that means hello. Um, what else can I say? Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Sage break. Um, what I don't, I'm not too sure what else I can say. I can say a lot of things. My tutti, which means pass the salt. <laughs> I don't know. That's just a random thing that I'm. It's just going with. Um, what else can I say? I don't know. I can say a few things, but I'm not fluent in Maori, so yeah. I don't know. <laughs> that's all. That's all you're gonna get out of me from today. Um, and the next one is which part of the Pacific Island is New Zealand? From. And um, it's right in the southern hemisphere. It's at the bottom of the world. Um, it's maybe not even. It's maybe the size of Queensland. <laughs> no, I don't know. It's 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 not humongous, but it's not you know small. It's maybe the size of Japan. Um. But yeah, it's it's just a small like country. Um and yeah, that's what I'm from. Okay, what do you love about what do you love about what do you love most about your Pacific Island culture? What do I love most? I love most that I know where I'm from. I know a lot of people that don't know where their roots are. I know a lot of people that um you know, they they feel lost because they they don't have that attachment and they they don't have that point to where, you know, they know their family history and they know um who everybody was in their family. They I know a lot of people like that and they always feel hollow because there's like a part of them missing. Um but I I'm, I'm very blessed to know where I'm from and um know who my family are and my ancestors and my family history. I'm very blessed. Um, and, yeah, that's probably my most favourite thing that I like. Yeah, I think that's all of the questions. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching it and enjoyed just seeing a little bit about my culture and who I am and where I'm from. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.